Hello and greetings from First Baptist Church Toronto. This is Reverend Wendell Gibbs. I uh, just wanted to give a perspective like everyone else is doing across the world. Social media has got us uh, trying to educate us with the truth and sometimes with the, with the false narrative as well regarding the coronavirus. But um, to our church family and friends and family, I just wanted to give you a word of encouragement. I am one of the ones who was stranded here in Guyana, in the Caribbean, came for ministry and for a visit to explore here, and um, the airport got stranded, so I am here since the 12th of uh, March, and the schedule is that I will return, hopefully uh, the first week of April, by God's grace. But all is well, I'm doing good, and I wanted to just let you know that um, uh, the world at at large is uh, in fear against this virus. We've had many of the plagues in the past. Uh, Historically, in the the Bible, we will see that there were many situations where God actually uh, put plagues on in Israel and and their enemies sometimes just to challenge them to trust God and to obey his commands. I'm not saying that's the case with us today, but we are certainly recognizing in the moral decaying of our value system in the world, in our city uh, at large, that we are recognizing the need for God in our lives more than ever before. It is said that um, uh, people can see us in the church. Well, God is now recognizing that we're no longer in the church, so perhaps people need to see the church in us, outside of the four walls. And what a challenge it is for us as we are shutting down across the world, restaurants and churches. And we were reminded from just a few words earlier on, sharing that um, God is able to shut the power of man, no matter how powerful we are. We, we celebrate icons like Hollywood stars. We celebrate icons like superstars in, in sports uh, arenas, stadiums, and the likes. Uh, our politicians and our rich are always endorsed with this acclimates of superstardom. And now God is recognizing that uh, he takes all the glory. Uh, he shines in the spotlight. And he's now shutting everything down without our control and recognizing in this hour, in our quarantine times, in our distancing times that has been given to us, we now can recognize that only God's presence matters. For he sticks closer than a friend. And God, as the word tells me, is right there with us no matter how distanced we are, no matter how quarantined we are and how isolated we may be. Just trust God in this moment. For the word fear... According to 2 Timothy chapters 1, verse 7, that we have echoed time and time again. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. When you think of the word fear and the acronym for fear, F means to face it. E means to explore it. A means to accept it. But R means to rise above it. Yes, we must face it. We will explore it as we are seeing across the world looking for a cure. We are accepting it because we have no choice, but in reality, we will rise above it again because we are people of God. And I want the whole world to hear this message as well, but turn to your creator, the supreme being who has given us life and who is able to heal, deliver, and restore us to where we are. But we've got to come back to obedience to God. We've got to come back to a place of recognizing God is in control and there is a savior he has given to us to redeem us from this world of evil. My brothers and sisters, if I can encourage you with just a couple of points to remind you again. We read from Psalms 91 uh, last Sunday in our sermon. And I want to remind you again that two points I want to leave with you. Praise God in the midst of your uncertainty. Because praise will replace fear. This is what the word says in Psalms 34 from verses 1 to 4. I will exalt the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. I will glory in the Lord. Let the afflicted hear and rejoice. Glorify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Praise will always replace fear. Point number two is this. Presence of God will kill fear. See, we can't associate anymore with each other in restaurants and in public places. In our own homes, we can't even associate with our family members if we've been away for a while. But the presence of God remains in each and every one of us, right around us. And I pray that you'll recognize, just as the word says in Romans chapter 8, verse 3, what shall we say if God be for us, who can be against us? And the book of Deuteronomy 31, verse 6 says this, Be strong. 
and be of good courage. Fear not, it says, or be afraid, for the Lord God goes with thee. He will not fail or he will.